bad boy. When I got off my ass and got to the cash and got in my bag, boy. What's up, y'all? It's Bam. If you're new, hi. Welcome to my channel. And if you're not, welcome back. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys a DIY aloe vera mask and oil treatment. Aloe vera repairs dead skin cells on the scalp. It also acts as a great conditioner and leaves your hair all smooth and shiny. It promotes hair growth, prevents inching on the scalp, reduces dandruff, and conditions your hair. It contains 75 active ingredients, including vitamins A, C, E, B12, fatty acids, essential amino acids, minerals such as copper and zinc, which are important for healthy hair growth. Coconut oil stimulates hair growth getting deep into its follicles. Coconut oil promotes the scalp health fighting against such problems as insect bites, lice, and dandruff. Coconut oil moisturizes dry hair. It also adds luster, shine, and softness to the hair. Coconut oil will definitely help your hair grow healthier, thicker, and longer. The vitamins and fatty acids in coconut oil help nourish your scalp and penetrates the cuticle of the hair. Honey is a natural antioxidant and it's also great for your skin so it helps keep your scalp healthy and support hair growth. Honey also stimulates hair follicles with its moisturizing elements. Honey prevents your hair from drying out. It also does a great job at helping your strands retain moisture and maintain strong follicles. Rosemary plays a vital role in hair care, especially protecting hair from dandruff and other scalp issues. It works for all hair types. It will moisturize, thicken, strengthen, and rapidly increase hair growth. It increases blood flow to the scalp, supplying valuable nutrients to the hair follicles. Jamaican black castor oil will prevent hair breakage, dandruff, eczema, and dry, itchy scalp. So those are all the ingredients that I will be using to make my mask and my hair oil. So what you want to do is rinse off your aloe vera plants and you want to cut the tail off and we're going to save the tail piece for later for the oil so don't worry about that I just set that to the side and then you want to cut your aloe vera into huge chunks and then once you get to the white part you can just throw that away because you don't need that at all so then you want to cut the prickly stems off the sides of your aloe vera chunks and y'all to make your life so much easier I suggest you cut the stems off first when the aloe vera is whole before you cut it just to not do the most like I am right now so cut the stems off first and then cut your aloe vera into your big chunks so now you want to get the aloe vera tail that we put to the side so you want to cut the stems off the side first I already cut the stems off camera so remember what I told y'all cut the stems off the side first before you cut your aloe vera into your pieces so now I'm just cutting it into smaller pieces because we are about to prepare our aloe vera hair oil so to prepare our aloe vera hair oil what you want to do is turn your stove on medium heat and then wait till it gets hot and then put a couple of scoops of organic coconut oil inside your pan some people use olive oil or argan oil to um, prepare aloe vera oil, but coconut oil works better for my hair. So I'm using coconut oil for this tutorial. So wait till your coconut oil melts a little bit and then you want to toss your aloe vera chunks inside your pan and let it sizzle or simmer, whatever you want to call it, until your aloe vera chunks turn brown. So while our oil is on the stove, we're going to come back to our bigger pieces of aloe vera. And what you want to do is take a knife and split it in half so we can get all that good gel from the middle of our aloe vera plant. So what you need is a small bowl and a spoon so you can scrape your aloe vera gel inside your bowl. Um, this stuff is hella slimy and slippery, so make sure you don't let the aloe vera slip out your hand. I had a good grip on the plant because I have did this before, but if you're first timers, I'm just gonna let y'all know it's slippery, so make sure you have a good grip on it. So once I'm done getting all my gel from the middle of my chunks, then I'm going to come back.
I'm gonna add aloe vera into my hair regimen from now on because this stuff really works miracles. Like I went natural two years ago and the first year I was doing good like weekly masks and everything but the second year I kind of neglected my hair like it looked it a mess before I put this mask on my hair like it was tangly it was shedding it was breaking the ends were thin because I wasn't like cutting my ends and cutting your ends are a big part of your hair like y'all y'all have to cut y'all ends the dead ends off your hair because that's the oldest part of your hair the ends are the oldest part and you have to cut those off in order for your hair to grow longer thicker and healthier so if you're natural make sure you cut your ends clip your ends cut all that dead hair because it will really make a difference y'all go see at the end of the video how bad and how damaged my hair was like my hair every time i pulled on my hair it was breaking off so my hair was just really damaged and so unhealthy. Another thing I want to add is if you get any green pieces from the plant inside your gel, I'm going to show y'all a way to get that out later on in the video. Y'all see the green residue that's falling inside the gel from the plant. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but y'all do not want that in y'all mask. So after I finish getting all the gel out of my plants, I'm going to show y'all what I do to get rid of that extra residue. So this is how it should look after you done scraped all your gel out of your plants. So now I'm gonna show y'all how to um, get the extra residue out of your gel because we don't need all that extra stuff in our hair mask. So what you wanna do is take a strainer and you wanna put a small bowl under your strainer and just basically massage your gel until like all your gel is inside the small bowl you want to keep do i don't know this hand motion i'm just gonna say massage because i'm basically massaging the gel to make it like go inside the bowl so you want to keep doing that until all your gel is gone from the strainer and you see nothing but residue in the strainer and if y'all have a smaller strainer then use that because it's the only strainer I have but it still got the job done so I guess it don't matter the size of the strainer but I would prefer a smaller strainer so if you have a smaller one use that but if you have a bigger one use that too because 
it will get the job done regardless. So I'm gonna leave the strainer sitting on top of the bowl so it can get all the gel out and then I'm gonna come back to it later. So I came back to my aloe vera oil to see how it's coming and I'm gonna let it sit for about five more minutes because the aloe vera plants aren't brown enough for me yet. So I'm gonna let it sit for five more minutes and then I'm gonna come back. So after five minutes, this is how the aloe vera plants are looking. It got a little bit more brown. So I cut my stove off and now I'm gonna let it cool down for about 10 minutes. So now I'm gonna remove the strainer from the bowl because it got most of the aloe vera gel out and then I'm gonna throw the extra residue away. And as you can see, it's no residue inside the bowl. So now I'm gonna be mixing organic honey, rosemary oil and organic coconut oil into my aloe vera gel and I'm going to mix that all together and when I put my coconut oil inside the mixture the coconut oil would not like melt and dissolve inside the gel so I put it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and then the coconut oil ended up melting and I stirred it with a fork so all the ingredients can combine together. So after I let my oil sit and cool for about 10 minutes, now I'm just taking the aloe vera chunks out with a spoon and putting them in the trash because we obviously don't need them now. So I'm taking the um, chunks out the oil and then I'm gonna pour the oil into a small bowl. And now I'm adding rosemary oil into my oil mixture. So this is how the oil and the gel mask should look when you are completely done with it. I'm just playing around with it so y'all can see how it should look and how the texture should be. I really recommend aloe vera to be a part of your natural hair regimen because it's just so many great things about it. Like it keeps your hair soft and moisturized and healthy and it grows your hair like crazy. So I really recommend aloe vera and y'all should really make it a part of y'all hair regimen and hair routine. So now moving on to my hair, y'all, I have no words for this. Like, look at this. <laughs> y'all, I really been neglecting my natural hair, like not literally doing nothing to it, not cutting my split ends or nothing. So I had to go in and cut all that dead hair off my ends and cut my split ends. And this is how it's looking now. It looks so much better and I can finally run my fingers through my hair without it breaking or shedding. And this is all the hair that I cut off. So I already washed and conditioned my hair and I left the conditioner on my hair and then put the aloe vera mask on top of the conditioner because I'm gonna leave it in as a leave-in conditioner because my hair really needs it. I've really been neglecting my natural hair. So um, I'm using the mask as a leave-in conditioner for my hair so it can like soak up all that protein and nutrients that my hair really needs. And y'all, this mask got my hair so soft and silky. Like aloe vera is the best thing to use if you wanna detangle your hair or if you wanna grow your hair. So I put my hair into braids and then I just put the aloe vera oil in between my braids and massaged it in. And that's about it. I'll give you guys a hair update soon, but thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.